Welcome back, guys. We're going to do the last Easter egg here that lots of people don't realize is there. Unless they've played it through before. I, uh, first time I did my True Pacifist, I actually went all the way back here and, uh, didn't realize that I should click on the person more than once. Because you get to hear more of a, of a story in this. So we're going to go through these runes. And then we get to see how many uh, monsters I actually got the gold name ending on in the credits. Oh my goodness. Going through these runes is annoying. Having to go all the way back to the beginning. But if you don't, you miss out on a lot of the story. Finally, we can all remove these aging pink names. Everyone gave you a big favor today. Try to respect that. <sighs> ribbit, ribbit. Did you ever find this room's fourth frog? There's an ant-sized frog and a crack in the wall. Please it you. Ribbit, ribbit. Say, now that your journey's over, maybe you'll have time to listen to me. Since most people just press X to skip through my dialogue. That's right, pressing X. You've really matured, haven't you? Yep. Looks like Cheese has a nibble taken out of it. The exit's open? Guess I better roll out! Hey, you mind giving me a push, pumpkin? Oh, I don't even care. Because now I'm back up here. Crinkling through the leaves fills you with determination. Oops. Rub it, rub it. Excuse me, human. You seem like you have grown into a thoughtful and conscientious person. Whether that was from my advice or not, I'm quite proud. Rub it. through these ruins takes forever. There we go. Okay, made it. Nope, nothing. Nothing there. worry about me. Someone has to take care of these flowers. Frisk, please leave me alone. I can't come back. I just can't, okay? 
I don't want to break their hearts all over again. It's better if they never see me. Why are you still here? Are you trying to keep me company? Frisk. Hey, let me ask you a question. Frisk, why did you come here? Everyone knows the legend, right? Travelers who climb Mount Ebbett are said to disappear. Frisk, why would you ever climb a mountain like that? Was it foolishness? Was it fate? Or was it because you... Well, only you know the answer, don't you? I know why Willow climbed the mountain. It wasn't for a very happy reason. Frisk, I'll be honest with you. Willow hated humanity. Why they did, they never talked about it. But they felt very strongly about that. Frisk, you really are different from Willow. In fact, that you have similar, uh, fashion choices... I don't know why I ever acted like you were the same person. Maybe, the truth is, Willow wasn't really the greatest person. While Frisk, you're the type of friend I wish I always had. So maybe I was kind of projecting a little bit. Let's be honest, I did some weird stuff as a flower. Here's one last thing I feel like I should tell you. Frisk, when Willow and I combined our souls together, the control over our body was actually split between us. They were the one that picked up their own empty body. And then, when we got to the village, they were the one that wanted to... to use our full power. I was the one that resisted. And then, because of me, we... Well, that's why I ended up a flower. Frisk, this whole time, I blamed myself for that decision. That's why I adopted that horrible view of the world. Kill or be killed. But now, after meeting you, Frisk, I don't regret that decision anymore. I did the right thing. If I killed those humans, we would have had to wage war against all of humanity. And in the end, everyone went free, right? I still feel kind of sad knowing how long it took. So maybe it wasn't a perfect decision? But you can't regret hard choices your whole life, right? Well, not that I have much of a life left. But that's beside the point. Chris, thank you for listening to me. You should really go be with your friends now, okay? Oh, and please. In the future, if you, uh, see me, don't think of it as me, okay? I just want you to remember me like this. Someone that was your friend for a little while. Oh, and Frisk. Be careful in the outside world, okay? Despite what everyone thinks, it's not as nice as it is here. There are a lot of flowies out there. But not everything can be resolved by just being nice. Frisk. Don't kill. And don't be killed. Alright? That's the best you can strive for. Well, see you. Frisk. Don't you have anything better to do? Okay, let's see what the next text is. Forward, send this to someone you care about or a skeleton will rattle his bones at you. Alright, so now we know more of the story. I'm going to pause the recording for a little bit and get back to the very end close to the very end. That way you can read the rest of Toriel's messages. And then we'll do the credits. See you in a minute. I just remembered that I forgot to talk to this frog. Ribbit, ribbit. Seems like the runes have finally opened up. Maybe we should finally go out to the rest of the underground. Huh? The barrier's open too? Let's just take this one step at a time, okay? And we'll go ahead and get another text from Toriel. Dear Frisk, thought you might enjoy this. It's assy art of a snail. Alright, see you in a little bit. Alright, we're getting ready to head into the ending. So what I'm going to do for you guys is the first one. 
I'll uh, not stay with Toriel so you can see the picture that is in San's lab and then the second one I'll stay with her. Dear Frisk, Undyne and Papyrus want to cook something together with me. Sans is telling me that they are excellent chefs. I am excited. Maybe if you are lucky, you can have some. Oh, Toriel, don't ever listen to a word Sans says. Seriously. Dear Frisk, if Sans and I started a band, you know what we could call it? Dreamer and Femur. LOL. Yes, that is only a joke. Do not refer to me as Dreamer. Dear Frisk, Undyne is very strong. Papyrus made a bet with her that she could not lift everyone here up. She could. The only trouble is that she did not know how to put everyone down. Dear Frisk, Alphys is telling me many interesting facts about the human world. Quite a few of them are wrong, though. Frisk, you did not tell her anything funny, did you? Dear Frisk, I heard that using the computer for too long is bad for you. However, I have not seen you use the computer at all. You must be very healthy. How nice. Dear Frisk, I think I may have to turn off the phone for now. Your friends are all very lovely people. I think I will spend this time getting to know them better. Be good, alright? Sincerely, Toriel. Alright, here we go. If you leave here, your adventure will really be over. Your friends will follow you out of the underground. Just don't leave, I'm ready. Isn't it beautiful, everyone? Wow, it's e even better than on TV. Way better. Better than I imagined. Frisk, you live with this? The sunlight is so nice, and the air is so fresh. I really feel alive. Hey, Sans! What's that giant ball? We call that the sun, my friend. That's the sun? Wowee! I can't believe I'm finally meeting the sun! I could stand here and watch this for hours! Yes, it is beautiful, is it not? But we should really think about what comes next. Oh, right. Everyone, this is the beginning of a bright new future. An era of peace between humans and monsters. Frisk. I have some something to ask of you. Will you act as our ambassador to the humans? Be the ambassador? Sure. Yeah! Frisk will be the best em Bleh, sorry. Frisk will be the best ambassador! And I, the great papyrus, will be the best mascot! I'll go make a good first impression. Welp. Someone's gotta keep him from getting into trouble. See you guys. Man, do I have to do everything? Papyrus, wait! Hey, Undyne, oh, wait up! Whoops. <laughs> uh, should I do something? Well, gotta go! <laughs> Seems that everyone is quite eager to set off. F 
Frisk. You came from this world, right? So you must have a place to return to, do you not? What will you do now? I want to stay with you, but I'm going to say I have places to go first. Aw, I see. Well, I hope that I am not keeping you. Bye, Toriel. Frisk. See you around. I promise I'll stay with Toriel the second time. I just wanted to uh, let you guys see the picture that's in the the lab. Frog it. Professional frog. Whims and braver every day. Did go good on those two. Mold's Mall. Backup dancer. Luke's reformed bully. Did good on those two. Vegetoid and the Gosp. Popular nutritionist. Casually enjoys life. Naps to Luke. Spooky DJ. Yay! Papyrus! And the birdie. And Sans. Winking at me with his left eye. Open. Which is kind of creepy. If you've ever played the, uh... Genocide mode. Okay, let's see if I got yellow on these. Snowdrake and Ice Cap. Snowdrake. Semi-successful comedian. Ice Cap. Thinking about his hat. Nope, didn't get yellow on him. Gift Trot. Christmas display. Doggo has his own seeing eye dog. Dogami, Dogami and Dogaressa. Finally, number one knows Nuzzle Champions. Yay! Lesser dog and greater dog. Found a loving owner, excited by life's changes. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> You're breaking the cement, Undyne! Aaron and Moldbig. Aaron. Paranormal investigator, Moldbig. Idyllic life on the beach. Washua and Timmy. Washua, legendary janitor, Timmy. Timmy. Mad Dummy and Shiren. Mad Dummy, calm down just a bit. Aw, Shiren taking piano lessons again. Okay, I didn't get yellow on her either. That's too bad. I don't know how I got yellow on the Mad Dummy. Metaton. Vulcan and Sundar playing. Vulcan, encouraging space heater, finally confesses. What? I don't. Pyrope and Muffet. Pyrope, candle and the world's largest birthday cake. Spider success with a new bakery. Royal Guards. Use your imagination. <laughs> Final frog and whims a lot. Giving life its own meaning. The long battle finally ending. Astigmatism. Domineering glasses seller. Magic and Night Night. Street Magician taking a well deserved nap. Cool. Amalgamates. Living with their families. So, out of all those names, I got, I managed to get the happy ending for all of them but two. Monster Kid. <laughs> well, and of course. You don't get a happy ending for Azriel. <laughs> Did you really think it was over? 
I mean, we haven't even done the special things yet. Guys, I suck at dodging the credits, so we're not going to open that secret door. Ready? Let's end all of this for good. That's the one Easter egg I cannot manage to get yet. Is where I actually do well on these credits and open that door. Oh, as I said. But I know a secret place to hide my heart so that I don't touch any other credits. Whoops. No, oh, this is the worst. This is the one where I always... Damn. This one isn't too bad if you are smart about it. I was not very smart that time, though. Ah, shit. Ah! Okay. Huh. Yeah. That was not good. Thanks to friends and family for supporting us, and Undertale team, thanks to you, the player, from the bottom of our hearts. Without you, all this would be impossible. Good night. <laughs> Yay! There's the picture of us all on the surface. And if you sit here long enough, which I'm going to sit here for a little bit. I'm going to pause while I sit here for a minute. There he is. Toby Fox the doggy. If you sit here long enough, he falls asleep. Anywho, let's, uh, go back to the beginning again and uh, stay with Toriel this time. Give me one second. Here we go. Hi. Hi. Seems as if everyone is perfectly happy. Monsters have returned to the surface. Peace and prosperity will rule across the land. Take a deep breath. There's nothing left to worry about. Well, there is one thing. One last threat. One being with the power to erase everything. Everything everyone's worked so hard for. You know who I'm talking about, don't you? That's right. I'm talking about you. You still have the power to reset everything. Toriel, Sans, Asgor, Alphys, Papyrus, Undyne. If you so choose. Everyone will be ripped from this timeline. 
and sent back before all of this ever happened. Nobody will remember anything. You'll be able to do whatever you want. That power. I know that power. That's the power you were fighting to stop, wasn't it? The power that I wanted to use. But now, the idea of resetting everything? I... I don't think I could do it all again. Not after that. So please, just just let them go. Let Frisk be happy. Let Frisk live their life. But if I can't change your mind, if you do end up erasing everything, you have to erase my memories too. I'm sorry. You've probably heard this a hundred times already, haven't you? Well, that's all. See you later, Willow. Ugh. Okay. So, now we're gonna go stay with Toriel. Yes, I know. Oops. I'm ready. Alright, I'm going to pause it till we get back to the, the place where I get to stay with her. Alright, for everybody who knows the true happy ending is this, here you go. What? Frisk? You really are a funny child. If you had said that earlier, none of this would have happened. It is a good thing you took so long to change your mind. Hehehe. <laughs> well, I suppose, if you really do not have any other place to go, I will do my best to take care of you for as long as you need. All right, now come along. Everyone is waiting for us. So is Frisk like an orphan <laughs> that fell in the underground? All right, I'm gonna pause it again until we get to the end because you've already seen all this. All right. So I figured I'd go ahead and dodge the credits again on tape for y'all. Yay, Toriel got to be a teacher. My next video series is going to be called Undertale Genocide or Undertale Sans Hates My Guts. Here we go. Practice makes perfect. I mean, I know I'm probably not going to open that door, but hey, at least I can have fun dodging credits for a while. Ah, crap. So, two so far. Ugh, don't go so fast. Ah, three, four, five, six. Oh, I hate this one. Yeah, I'm not even going to count anymore. This one is the one I suck at the most out of all of these. I think I'm trying to figure it out. Oh crap, I need to go up here. Nope. I'm getting too... No, uh. no, 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 no. Ah, crap. Jeez.
It's so fun, but it's so hard. Okay. Good job, guys that donated money. This was an awesome game. All right. Yay! The end! Alright guys, thanks for watching!